This video is a paid promotion by Wizards of the Coast, because although my videos are free, food is not, and if I'm gonna sell out my incredibly tight and glutey artistic and comedic talent, I might as well do it for something I actually like at least as much as my favorite pair of fluffy slippers. You know what pickles my tickle? Cards. They're small, fit in your wallet, and you can use them to summon a rabid hell demon from the fiery pits of the underworld so you can finally kill your arch nemesis by getting past that stupid sheep that's standing in the way. I'm gonna turn you into a blanket after we're finished, you smug-eyed little shit. It's not your turn yet. Fine. You win this round, blocking sheep. Whatever, once you're out of the way, I'll have time to pull off my massive mamma jamma combo glombo crushity brushity explodification deck I've spent years putting- I have lethal. Welcome to A Crap Guide to Magic the Gathering. The game is simple. You and an opponent player have some numbers. You put other numbers on the board and hit each other's numbers, and whoever can make the other numbers go away first wins. And then you go out for donuts afterwards, I don't know. The spells and creatures in your hand are all gold diggers, so they won't just answer to any doofy boofy who decides to ask them out. You gotta lead them by the tendrils with some premium real estate by placing land. The more land you have, the bigger spells and minions you could play, but just so you know, these cards are pickier than your average six-year-old who doesn't want their chicken and mashed potatoes to touch. Almost every card has a color requirement, so if you want that arc light phoenix to come to your barbecue, you better make sure you have some red carpet lying around or else it's gonna tell all your friends about how your crib is out of fashion. There are five colors, each one based around a general style of playing. White is great for recruiting a massive army that gets all over the place like those chores you keep putting off. And just like those chores that you keep putting off, they become more and more of a problem the longer you ignore it before it's too late and they eventually take over the world and ban Mildex forever. Blue is in case you want to be James Bond and foil the enemy's master plans by having an answer for just about everything in your trusty utility belt. I cast a spell to destroy your minion. <laughs> No, you don't. Green is about planting enough land to summon Biggie McLargehuge to stomp out the puny creatures nibbling at your feet while you laugh at the future carpet stains they're about to be. Black for the rich evil villains in all of us who like to throw our disposable minions away more frequently than those multivitamins you're constantly forgetting to take. And great if you're an edgelord who wants to make the enemy suffer your deep pain as much as you do over losing those cards that you mindlessly discarded. And red, which is my personal favorite because it lets you play the game fast and throw your cards down like they're two seconds away from spoiling that movie you still haven't seen. Hurry up so I can put down this Minotaur and continue beating your face in. I'm not impatient, you're impatient. And those are the basics that anyone can understand, but from there the game gets more complex and strategic, like trying to figure out how to actually hang out with all your friends but never actually doing it. Magic is the grandpappy of collectible card games, and being around for so long means you have the Cyclops' a shit ton of cards to choose from. You can make a deck based around ignoring your opponent like you're a celebrity walking through a wave of paparazzi, a deck based around resurrecting so many dead creatures the board will look like a medieval fantasy thriller video, or a deck based entirely on how many explosive cookies you can throw. What, there aren't any cards that can do that? Give it like two years, they're bound to print an explosive cookie card. Every now and then it's nice to settle down and have some friendly competition by throwing well-illustrated cards at people's faces until they die of paper cuts. So grab your deck and get out there. There's cards to collect and silly billy opponents to annihilate. And remember to play nice. Being respectful to the enemy means they're more likely to rematch you so you can crush them again under your stonking strategies and inspiring unicorn. Yes, there's an inspiring unicorn in the game. What about it? And now you know how to play Magic the Gathering. Download Arena now to play on PC. Link in the description below. You're welcome.